have everyone back together again after summer vacation. But it kind of feels like something's missing. Hmm. My pants! My pants are missing! I'm not wearing any pants! I never wear pants! I don't wear any pants. Phew, that was close. Panic over. Shoes! My shoes are missing! Wait, I did it again! Why would I want to wear shoes? I don't have any feet. My feet! My feet are missing! You're right, though. There is something missing. It feels too... Nice. Yeah, I've been wearing my new fresh hat for a whole 20 minutes and no one's made fun of it once. Let me rectify that for you. <clears throat> I could see why you kept the label on. I'd want a refund too. Eh, first degree burn at best. Won't even leave a scar. Gumball would have come up with something way better. Yeah, 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 totally yeah, I can see that. <gasps> We're Gumball and Darwin! Darwin! Kids, kids, it's half past seven. You're gonna be late for your first day back. Mom left me in charge and if I don't get you to school on time, she'll destroy me. Destroy you. That's... <laughs> Me, you. Ah! Oh, it was a dream. It's not really 7.30, it's 8.30! Ah! You're late! Ah! Oh no, the kids have turned into school supplies. Or am I still dreaming? Only one way to find out. Hmm, I can't fly, so this definitely isn't a dream. Not dreaming, start panicking. Start panicking! <laughs> Elmore Jr. Hi. Hello, this is my wife speaking. Whose wife? Uh, Richard? Mr. Watterson, what is it this time? I'm just calling to say the kids won't be in this morning. They've got, uh, fat heads. Doesn't sound that bad. Send them in. That was just the start of it. They've also got a cough, their skin is falling off, and they've got black lumps all over their arms. That sounds like the bubonic plague. Yes, that. I've given them vitamins, so they'll be in after lunch. Bye! Wait, what? No! <sighs> ah, the kids still have the plague! Well, maybe it's because I just finished my night shift and I desperately need sleep, but I could have sworn you just said the kids had the plague. No, I didn't. You did. Did I? Oh, I'm so tired. I know. Me too. Sure, an all-night shift in the factory is nothing compared to half an hour of back-to-school shopping in the mall. Exactly. Well, as long as you got them to school on time. Come on. Trust me. I know. I'm sorry for doubting you. Uh, listen, I'll pick them up after school. Love you. Don't know what she's worried about. I'm a good father. What do you know? Uh, where are they? Okay, the best way to find something is to retrace your steps. <laughs> okay, they're not here. So, when did I last see them? It was yesterday afternoon. Come on, sleepyhead. That shopping was so tiring, we're going to bed now, even though it's only five o'clock. Right, so if the shopping is in the beds, the kids must be... In the trunk! Gumball! Ah! Darwin! Annalise! Are you in there? They can't speak! They're running out of air! <gasps> ah! Open sesame! Alakazam! Avocado credenza! What's the magic word again? Oh, yeah. Release! Uh -huh. <sighs> Wait! This is the key! Why isn't this working? Because it's not your car, Watterson. You're right. My car hasn't got all those dents in the trunk. Hmm. So I have my keys, but I don't have my car. How can that be? You guys stay here while I go get the ticket. Wait. A good father wouldn't leave his children in a hot car with the windows wide open. Safety first. Uh, all right, kids. Let's go. <laughs> Prepare to jump into hyperspace. Ah, oh, asleep already. Wait, my car! Ah, the kids must still be locked in my car. I'm coming, kids. Section D. Thank you! Where's Section D? Just after Section C. Sorry, I forgot to say thanks. 